Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Show Off That Wizard. It has been an extremely long time since I have done one of these and I'm extremely sorry for those that have been asking me to do them. Um, I have been extremely busy lately. Uh, my family and I and yeah are trying to find a house um, to live in. Like we have a house right now but we're trying to upgrade and da 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 so we've been going to a ton of open houses and stuff. Um, and I'm applying for a job, and like a whole bunch of different stuff's happening. Da 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 da. But I decided to do a show off that wizard video right now. It's currently 11:30 at night, so <laughs> um, I'm a little tired as I woke up early this morning and went out looking at houses. So uh, yeah. But I thought I'd throw out a video because I haven't done a video in a while, and I haven't done a show off that wizard video since uh, Livia's video. So um, we're gonna we're gonna start off here with Carrick now. I'm going to be doing this in uh, the order of their levels because, um, I don't know, I just feel like doing it in that way. I don't know. Um, anyway, so we're going to show off Carrick here, and uh, let's just go ahead and get into him. That sounded so wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, so I don't know where I'm ending up here. I'm in the arena. Okay, well, we're gonna go head to my house. Um, let's go to my balance house, I guess. That would- that would make sense. Why do I keep turning on the- I don't know. This episode is already starting out really weird, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm at my house. Um, I guess we can just stand right here. I don't know. I'm gonna get off my mount here real fast, and we're gonna show off what the heck? Why can I not move? There we go. Oh my gosh, this video is not starting out right, but that's okay. We're gonna run over here because there's more space. Alright, so I have Carrick here. Um, he is my balance wizard. I'm just gonna show you guys and, or, and tell you guys a little info about Carrick. Um, so he's my balance wizard. I Who's my third wizard I ever created and the first guy character I created. Now a lot of people keep asking me, you know, why do you keep making guy characters? Because you're a girl. Um, me, personally, I just wanted some change because, you know, having a lot of girl wizards is nice and everything, but I feel like I've used every single hairstyle in the girls, and they run really funny. I don't know if you noticed, but the girls, they have their palms out when they run. I don't know, it's just really strange. Um, and I just wanted a little bit a change of character, um, and, you know, a lot of people think it's weird that guy people play girl characters and girl people play guy characters. But honestly, I don't really care, because I like a change of scenery, um, and I think balance fits guys more. I don't know. I don't know. I just I just chose Carrick. Um, but he was the third wizard I ever created. Um, and when I saw the name Carrick, it was a very odd name. I've never heard that name before in real life, and I thought, you know, that's that's really original, so I'm just going to name him Carrick. And then his last name San Gem. It's just it's kind of, it's just completely random actually because I didn't know what balance was all about um, when I created him and I'm like okay sand gem sand gem sounds good <laughs> and so I named him that but uh, I created him about uh, I'd say about a couple months after I created my storm because I was getting tired I I kind of like flip flopping between wizards occasionally because I get bored between the different schools, so I flip-flopped. Um, and so then I made Carrick. So this is him as he is now. Um, he's level 79, uh, so <laughs> I can't go to Azteca yet. So I have to level him up a little bit more. He has a little bit more to go here in terms of leveling up to 79, 80. Oh my god, I keep saying 79. But we're just gonna go over some uh, stuff on him here. Um, ignore the pet, though, because that's not the right pet. I need to get him a new pet, but... Eh, we're not going to talk about that. Okay, so his current hat is a Hood of Judgment. Now, I can't get into Tartarus yet on him, so I don't have the Tartarus stuff. I'd really like to get the Tartarus stuff, but I don't. So for now, he has the Waterworks hood, or hat. Um, so that's what he's wearing right now. I stitched it to this looking hat because I like the, the little designs on the outfits. I think they're just super cute. Um, <laughs> me being a girl saying a guy hat is cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that says hat. Um, his robe is also the Cape of Judgment. Uh, again, a waterworks drop, which took me, oh my god, forever to get. Um, but personally, at this stage in a character's development, I do believe that the waterworks gear is the best at this current spot. Now, I know it's level 60 and I'm 
way over 20 levels over that, but I mean, up until you get to Tartarus, there's not really good gear. So I just kept with the waterworks. I did the same thing on Olivia until I got up to Tartarus, and now she has all the most of the Tartarus stuff. Um, but he has the waterworks gear here, and he also has the boots of judgment. So he is a complete waterworks waterworks dude. Um, and also, I forgot to mention, I did stitch this to this uh, armory type outfit. I did end up getting the, uh, I don't remember what the bundle is, the one with the griffin mount, and you get like the big giant castle, I forgot what it's called, I'm so terrible with names, um, but this came with that, so if you think I'm a PvP warlord, no I'm not, I suck at PvP, um, I enjoy PvP, but I'm just terrible at it, so there's no way I'm gonna, there's no way I could have got this, there's just no way, um, but anyway, so I got that from the bundle, and stitched it, and then uh, his boots, I just got in the bazaar and stitched them as well. I do love the, the designs on them because they're balancy looking. Um, yep, and then we have the wand, which is a highland walking stick. Um, I'm, I'm still in the development of him again, so as time goes on, I'm obviously going to change his gear and his wand and stuff to better stuff. But uh, in the, when I'm making this video, this is what he currently has on him. Uh, it's a highland walking stick. Uh, it's it's okay. I mean, it's not the greatest wand ever, but it's better than all the other ones I have. So I already went with the Highland Walking Stick, um, which kind of looks cool. I don't know. I wish it was blue because it matched his outfit, but it's not. Uh, anyway, his a th is this a thame or a, th a thame? I don't know. I like saying, I like saying a thame because it sounds cooler, but I don't know. Um, so he currently has the old tusk tusk trunk, which I believe is a Zafaria. Uh, a thame. So I definitely need to change that, don't I? Um, to one more Avalonish. Avalonish is that a word? I don't know. I'm making up all kinds of words in this video. Um, so that's obviously probably going to change, but for the time being, it's it's working. So why change it? Um, and then we got the amulet. I have the witch's star necklace. I have to do this. This guy is just. I need to do some stuff with this guy. Uh, I just. I have not been on him that recently, so I haven't changed up really anything. Um, so I guess I have the Witch's Star Necklace. I have the Talisman of the Tower and the Valkyrie Star Necklace, which are almost the same thing between these, except the Valkyrie gives you Tower Shield and Witches gives you Hex. But, uh, yeah, that's that. And then the ring. The ring's pretty good, spot on, though. The ring is a stone of the other side. 242 health, 176 mana, 12% power pip, and 50% block, and 33% outgoing. Which is actually pretty nice, um... It's probably not the best ring for a balance, but, I mean, what can you do? It's the closest I can get to level 80, so that's always good. Um, the pets, uh, like I said, my pets are, are terrible. Usually I have um, Lady Cassie on him, uh, and she has May Cast Weakness and Sprite, but it's just terrible. I'm still working on um, his pet, because I just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I, I'm, I pet improve, but I pet improve on my storm, so I usually look at storm talents for pets, and now it's like, oh god, I gotta switch gears and think about balance talents, which, whew, it's hard to do. Um, but then I also, uh, threw on Ma Madame Bailey, who's actually on my storm. Usually she's on my storm, but I moved her over because I thought I was going to be doing Azteca on Carrick, and then I found out, oh, well, I have to be level 80 to get there, so I, uh, put Madame Bailey on there. Oh, so when I do do Azteca, I at least have some kind of casting healing spell. Um, but usually I have Cassie on me. No, usually, but yeah. And then we have the mounts. I have a ton of mounts. Um, usually he's on the Grey Warg. I also have the Slowpoke Sloth and the Swift Shark. Um, he looks, he looks pretty dang cool on that shark, though. I might start using that shark some more. Um, and then he's usually on the Warg. It's, I don't know. It looks cool. Uh, and then the deck he's using is the Hand Chase Box of Destiny. Yes, I do need to change that deck, too. I need to do a lot of stuff on Carrick. <laughs> I need to do a ton of stuff. Um, but I guess that's what he has now. Because I could definitely get, like, a level 70 deck. I don't know why I have a level 65. Like I said, I have not done anything on Carrick. I feel so bad. I've been totally neglecting him. I just, I feel terrible. Um, so obviously he's not my best wizard, but, you know, he, he's, he's getting there. Um, so here, is, here, here are most of his uh, stats. He's level 79, balance, or sorcerer. Uh, 3,974 health, 546 mana, 
His experience needs to get up there because he's not maxed out. He needs to get maxed out. He has six training points, 66,000 gold. I have 6,000 crowns. Oh my goodness. Um, arena tickets, 229. So I guess I have done some PvP on him. Because otherwise I don't know how I would have gotten those tickets. Uh, 79 energy, and obviously I have max energy, so it's not going to be giving me any more. Damage is 53, all thanks to my Judgment Waterworks attire. And 28 resistance to all schools, accuracy, nothing. Um, I do need to work on this, but until I get to Tartarus, I can't really do much. Um, here are his uh, critical and block. So he has 24 crit across the entire board, except Valange, which is 112, thanks to the stick and two of the Judgment attires. And the block rating is 104 across everything. Again, terrible, I know. <laughs> I'm working on it. Um, he has 76% power pips, which is actually not that bad. Actually, I think he has a higher power pit rating than Olivia does. Uh, healing in is 36%, healing out is 33%. He has no stun resistance and 2% armor piercing, thanks to the walking stick. And then he has all these badges, which I'm not going to go through. But he pretty much has the same amount of badges as Olivia has, except uh, he hasn't been to Chrysalis or Azteca, so he's obviously lacking a few badges there. And then his, yeah, see, I don't understand how I have 229 arena tickets, but I haven't... Oh, wait, that's second age. Is there a way to get to first age? There we go. Okay, so I guess I was a veteran in the first age. I guess that's how I got tickets. I didn't know that. Um, but I guess I won 14. Don't remember doing that. And I got a bronze and a pet derby match. I don't know. I don't remember doing PvP on him, but I guess I did at one point. So I guess I was a veteran... Um, obviously I'm now a private because I haven't done PvP with him in this age. And then we have the time slots, which, uh, I don't craft usually on him, so that's why they're there. Um, here are the pets. Uh, they're not that great. Sprayly Weakness, and then we got, uh, Bailey, who has Spellproof, Fairy Friend, and Critical Striker. Critical Striker's nice. I'm hoping to get, um, double crit on Olivia... I just need to find a pet to hatch with that does have Critical Striker. Or Critical Striker and then the other Critical Talent, which I don't even know what the name is. Um, and then he has a Tempest Chimera. And then that's the Ram that failed. And uh, Judgment, obviously, because that's what you get when you, I believe, get to level 58, if I remember correctly. Um, so those are his pets. Again, they're terrible. I know. I need to work on them. And his spell deck, which... I obviously need to change because I can get a level 70 deck, and I don't have one. But um, this is what it looks like. You guys can take a look over that and see if there's any faults, which I'm sure there are plenty of faults in this deck. Uh, I do need to get a couple more decks, though, now that we can change the name of my deck, so I can have like a PvP deck and a, you know, a regular questing deck and all that fun stuff. Um, and then I have all of the balance spells up to Chimera. I'm trying to work on getting Sabretooth, but that's going to take a while. That's okay. I'll get there eventually. Astral Spells I have up to Colossal, which I always recommend um, training in Sun. You can also train in Star because it gives you Vengeance and stuff like that, which is always nice and infallible. It's good if you're PvPing, though. So if you want to PvP, I'm sure there's tons of PvP, PvP guides out there, so you can check a look at, take a look at those. I'm so tired I can't even talk. And then I got treasure cards, which I absolutely never use, and I feel so terrible for not using them because they're so handy, but I just I just never feel the need to use them. I got some Medusas in here, though, which is kind of cool, and some Orthruses and Leviathan, and yeah, I got a whole lot of these in here. Um, then we have the gardening stuff. Um, I used to garden... Carrick actually used to be my main gardening guy until I started it on Olivia, and now she's my main gardening girl. So, yeah. I guess it's pretty much all about Carrick. He's not that exciting. I'm sorry. He's not that exciting as Olivia is. But, um, that's, that's who I'm running with. I obviously have to make some changes because I didn't know he had all this low gear stuff on him before I started the video. So I obviously need to do some updates. And, uh, yeah. So probably in the next video you see if Carrick he'll be a higher level and with better gear and all that fun stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please leave a like and a comment. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. I do need to do more of these videos because I've been kind of lacking a little bit in the show-off 
my wizard category. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Because I don't know what I'm going to make. Probably a next walkthrough video, I most imagine. Um, but yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. And I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.